bottom of the screen, lane number one, that's Talmadge Davis from Team Greenville. Two, Matthew Marquardt from Mercy Health Flex Sea Wolves. Three, Noah Hensley from Blue Dolphins. Four, Colton Williamson from Dynamo Swim Club. Five, Garner Correll from Fox Valley Wave. Six, Clayton Herring from Swim GSA. Seven, Mason Revis from Mandel Jewish Community Center. Eight, Brandon Goldstein from Nations Capital Swim Club. Very unusual to see a nose clip on a butterfly swimmer. That's what Colton Williamson in lane number four has. And it's helping him. He's out first. 58-28. It's not illegal. He just needs to uh, keep water from entering his nose. If he has an issue with that, by all means, use a nose clip. Colton Williamson making a big push here. And he's still leading. 130-22. Got a body length lead here. He had about a three quarters of body length lead, so really built that third 50. Now the pain starts to set in. Let's see if anybody reels him in. We got Colton Williamson coming in for the D final. 200 butterfly, and he will win it. 203-19. What a great swim for Colton. I don't know, can't really gauge if he's happy or upset with that, but I think it's a great swim. He looked very strong, very aggressive all the way through. I'm sure. Uh, Jason Turcott, the head coach of Dynamo Swim Club, will have some things to say about it, and they'll have some things to work on this summer. It's probably one of the great things about having this meet long course, so they could uh, get some early racing opportunities and see what needs to be fixed in time for long course season, which um, pretty much starts right after this meet ends. <laughs> 